In this video, we will explore the new Google Workspace feature, Appointment Schedule, which lets you create an appointment scheduling page on Google Calendar. Let's start. Here is my Google Calendar. Under Create, I can see this Appointment Schedule option. I'll click on this. I need to set up the details and my availability here. First, I'll add a title for the appointment page. I'll select the meeting duration to 30 minutes. Now, under general availability, I need to set my availabilities. First, I'll select 2 p.m. to 4.30 p.m. And then, I will select another time for the day. Here, I'll select 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. I created two different slots for my schedule. Now, I'll copy the same time for all the other days of the week. You see, all the days copied the same time. Here, under scheduling window, I will make the advanced appointment can be made to 30 days. And I will make the minimum time to 12 hours. So, I will have enough time to prepare for the meeting. Under adjusted availability, you can adjust a custom availability for a certain dates. Like for January 11, I will set the availability for 7 pm to 9 pm only. This will not affect the other date. Under booked appointment settings, you can set a buffer time and the maximum number of bookings can be made per day. I will set the buffer time to 15 minutes and I will change the maximum bookings per day to 3. Under calendar checked for availability, you can connect multiple calendars. It will block the busy times from booking an appointment. Currently, I have only one calendar connect. Watch this video to learn how to connect your Outlook calendar and iCloud calendar with your Google calendar. So the appointment booking system blocks the busy time automatically. I'll select a color here. This is optional and I'll click on next. Here, you need to select a meeting location. Currently, it has three options. Google Meet, in-person meetings and phone calls. If you are a person who likes meeting on Zoom, you can integrate the Zoom meeting scheduling option here. Watch this video to learn how to enable Zoom meeting option on Google Calendar. Then you will see the option to create Zoom meetings from your Google Calendar here in this list. For now, I'll select Google Meet. I'll add a sample description here. This is important. Booking form. Here it has the first name, last name and email. I want to add another field that is phone number. Add item. And I want to add a custom field here. Here I will add a custom field. I'll make it required add item. The custom field will help me to prepare for the meeting. This required email verification is already checked. You should check it to block the spam submission. For the payments and cancellation, I'll not add any payment option here. You can add a payment system here if you want. So if someone wants to book a schedule, they need to pay an amount you said. Currently, Stripe is the only payment gateway supported by this system. And you can create a cancellation policy here. The last setting, booking confirmation and reminders. Here you see the calendar invitation is already selected. When the meeting is booked, the person will receive a calendar invite with the Google Meet links as I have selected the Google Meet as the video conference option. For the email reminders, I will keep two reminders. One is one day before and another is one hour before the meeting. Now I will save the setting. You see the pop-up for the appointment schedule we just created. Let's see what the booking page looks like. Click on this booking page. I will click on this see what others see. So this is your final booking page. Here you see people can select a date and a time for the date and then they need to fill in the details. We will try that in a moment. Now we need to get the link to share. Click on the share button and here's the link. Copy this link and share this with people you want to. Besides, you can embed this appointment scheduling as a button on your website. On this website embed option, select the button pop-up. Select a color for the button. Here you can see the preview of the button and copy the code. Now let's see how to embed this on a website. I want to embed it on the sidebar here on this demo website. So I'll open the settings and select the HTML widget here. I'll move this widget to the top and I'll paste the code here. Let's see how the button looks here. So here is the book appointment button. Now I will publish all the changes and refresh the page here. Here is the button. When I click on the button, it opens a nice pop-up of the booking page. And you can add the button anywhere on the website. You just need to embed the code. Let's try to book an appointment here. I'll quickly select a date. I'll select a time and I'll fill in the details. I'll add a message. So the form is filled now. I'll click on this book button. The booking is confirmed and an email has sent to the email address and I have received a confirmation because I have booked the meeting with this email account. The email has a Google Meet link. I can join the meeting using this button here. Let's see the other side. And here you see I have received an email on the calendar account as well. Here you see on 14 January, it created the event on the Google Calendar. With the button pop up, it has another option inline booking page embed. This option will display the full appointment booking page on your website. For that, you need to copy 
copy this inline booking page i will add a new page here just to check the inline code and i'll embed the code here let's publish the page this is how the inline embed option looks like thank you for watching please let me know your questions in the comment section below do not forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel